Hey guys, excuse my computer, my graphics card. In today's video, we've got a Dell laptop. Um, it does actually run alright. Um, it doesn't actually um, have a, well it does have a hard drive, it has RAM, it comes with a charger and I paid 15 quid and it was delivered from somewhere on the outskirts of Headingham I think. Um, it actually runs, um, it's not got an operating system at the moment, I don't know where you plug it in, I'm sure it is in here, I'm sure, yeah it says it's charging, what we're going to do is um, power up this beast and see what it does, bio settings, no bootable devices. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to install an operating system on it. But I wonder what. We uh, have a few. Um, and I'm thinking Windows 7 32 bit. Or Windows 10 32 bit. We could try 10 32 bit. It's going to hate it. But we'll give it a shot. Uh, if I can find it. But yeah. We'll be back when it's on one install later. So guys, this is one install later. I was going to, uh, it was on Windows 7 for a while, but I didn't bother to film that as it was ridiculously slow and it just really didn't work right. Um, so yeah, now it's got Ubuntu Studio on it. Um, and look, idling at 14% of the CPU and 216 megs used at the moment. So, yeah. So, Ubuntu, it's a known fact, guys. If you have an old 32-bit machine um, that has, like, it's really old. It's got very little RAM, very little processing power. Um, it's, just a, it's just Linux saves computers, guys. So, you have an old computer, install Linux. It's x86, so it will support 32-bit and 64-bit. And it comes pre-installed drivers for your computer so you don't actually have to install drivers or rely on the stupid windows display adapter to and it even installs the drivers of the wi-fi the audio look so this even this works look so yeah and it even it's just brilliant it's it even does the internet all right um so if we go to so it's not actually slowing down at all or anything like that. You launch um, Firefox. It will it will take a while because it's still an old machine. You can't expect it to be fast, even if it's on a labor laid back operating system. It's still going to be a little bit slow, but that is so much faster than when you have Windows 7 installed. And here we are on Firefox. So go on to Facebook. Hang on. So yeah, it actually looks alright. It's nice and it's a bit old looking. Intel Celeron M as well. Windows XP is designed for. So it wouldn't be much faster. Um hang on. So yeah, it's just it's not actually that slow anymore. Linux saves computers. As you can see, and I can perfectly use this computer all right. You will have to be a little bit more patient than like on your average workstation or la other laptop, as it is literally 1.4 gigahertz single core. Um, so yeah, and it's only got two gigs of RAM. So, so yeah, it will run like browsers and stuff like. It will lag a bit. As it's got a 64 megabyte graphics chip, you can't expect much from something like that. Um, but you can literally just browse the internet on it. I, I wasn't able to on Linux. Uh, excuse the uh, my um, Z600 back there. That's literally quite. It's quite loud because of the graphics card. 
Yeah, so you can browse the internet on it. Uh, ex do expect a little bit of freezing, maybe. I don't think the uh, trackpad works anymore. So you have to... Yeah, you have to click physically. But yeah, it does scroll and everything like that. So, uh... <laughs> I just haven't got today's video. Hope you enjoyed today's video on this, um... Pretty much restoration and rebuild of this Dell Instrum laptop. It did have 512 megabytes of RAM. That was dreadful. Even on 2 gigs of RAM, on Windows 7 it was still quite slow. So what we did is, well, what I did is install Linux. Linux saves computers. Thank you for watching this video. Hope this inspires you to get your old laptop out the uh, out the cupboard and dust it off. Install Linux and make it useful again, like it once was. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.